But on those occasions, you know, the stuff falling apart. There were two occasions. The time he's talking about, he let me use his and um, fell apart. We went and got some new reels and some good ones. It was fun. Um, the next time it happened, I remember we were at this pond and man, Justin was wearing them out. I couldn't even fish that day at all. I, I cried again, I think. Yeah, you did. We, and we left early. We always left early. You had enough. <laughs> I never get enough of fishing. I'm ne it's never time to go. Yeah, and like you said, it's not that I, I had enough fishing. It's never been about catching fish. If, now, if I had to catch them to survive, yeah, I would, it would be different. But since I know that if we don't catch fish, we'll just go buy fish. Um, at least we did when we were younger. Yeah, we just uh, I am more about the nature. I will come out here. I, can, I will fall asleep. Now, I wake up every few. I don't go into deep sleep. I have to make sure no snakes or something end up around me or... Might have to slap a mosquito away, but I, I can go to sleep, and I'm okay with that. Just check on my brother, make sure he okay. I see him snapping his fingers because he missed a bite. Huge lure fishing, though. Is that something else? I was the first one, I think, to use a lure, at least to catch a fish on the lure. Justin was the first one to use a lure, catch a fish on the lure. I mean, I'm telling you, you would think that. I think I caught, what, a bass that always, day? Yeah, I was always the one that um, I love to fish probably more than him. But he was always uh, the adventurous one and when it took me out. Picked up a worm off the ground, a plastic worm. I, You're not going to catch anything. Blah, 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 blah. He threw it out there three casts later, so he had this bass. <gasps> I took it from him. <laughs> <laughs> didn't catch a bass. Now, if I remember correctly, though, you the one that hooked it up for me, though, right? I you think the, so, but... Yeah, you the one that put it on the hook because I didn't know how to do it. I don't. He knew how to put it on the hook. He just didn't want to use it. <laughs> So from that point, that's when I bought my first real lure. The, uh, we bought some plastic worms, and I mean that would be the go-to for us. I think that's just easy. one of the first worms people can just our uh, lures to use. Throw it out there and reel it in. There's no yeah. real bad, wrong way to fish with it, and that's what we would do with it. And on that bag of worms, we caught some bass. Yeah, I think I agree with you. I think that the best one to start off with is. So, Right now, I am not catching any fish with this, but as you all saw, we could be, if we're hitting little schools or little nests, we could have turned them off or something from the amount of fish that we've already caught and thrown back, and they could be turned off to the whole presentation. We're using a bobber and everything, and, you know, the whole stop of the water could be like, hey, don't, don't eat whatever is underneath it, so... Um, yeah, a lot of times you you would probably move around, uh, go to a different spot. Yeah. Of course, we're limited to where we can go, or at least willing to go. Yeah, well, it's more so willing today. It's getting dark. We both have sandals on. It's not anything we want to mess with a snake, and we just saw a big one earlier. So um, they're out here. We're in their environment. Now, if Granny was out here, she would have probably tried to already beat her, popped around to the other side or something. Yeah. It didn't take care of nothing to move and hit a hit a snake snake with a stick or and keep keep on truck and keep on moving. And I mean people I'm I'm you know, it's just a limited test today, but I mean I'm getting a hit, but it, it's funny though, our grandma was more of a lake pond fisherman. She, well she would fish anywhere, but she, she always had a place to go. If she wanted to fish, she always had a place to go. She didn't come here unless we wanted to come here. Yeah. Now, a place like this, though, Papa. <laughs> Whenever we used to go fishing, Papa would never fish with us. He would always go to a little hole somewhere, and I think he'll find a little hole like this yeah. on the side of a road, on a, uh, a wooden bridge that they used to have a lot of, and and he would fish, he'll come back with a few small ones and eat them just like they were huge. <laughs> so this is something Papa will get to. Yeah. Now Papa had a pocket uh, box full of lures too. Um, and we eventually um, got his tackle box and lures and Justin has a lot of his lures. I have some of them. Justin has the box. And but yeah, he definitely would fish something like this. Granny was about catching fish to eat. As much as it was fun for Granny, 
you know, she was about catching fish these and she wanted size and volume. Did Granny she would get it? Did she ever go and, and start using a reel and rod, or was it always cane poles? No, she started bringing a reel and rod with her, but she always had cane poles. And she would use two or three of them at one time. She was the ultimate fishing lady. Now I say and Tina's yeah. and Tina's taking the wrong of that. She's a she's a fisherman. She well, she probably fishes the most in the family. Jamie fishes a lot. Not much and Tina fishes the most, but she has little nest hole that she go to and it's still yeah, it's still delivering. Then I'm not gonna say the nest hole, but it is she has a nest hole and it still delivers exactly what she wants and why change it? I think as far as just trying out new places and trying out new equipment, testing things out, and going on adventures, uh, that's that's uh, Jamie Aston. He he tries out things that most of us haven't tried. I mean, fishing in a kayak that's that's pretty amazing. Uh, just you know, he he's willing to try some. Yeah. <laughs> it is my video, but fishing on stuff like this, you're always hitting the bobber because you're coming up here to the top. This thing, they eventually just shatter. <laughs> this thing will go in the garbage soon. Because it's hit the concrete wall so much. Um, I'm not getting any hits. I, I am, but they're not committing. Um, I don't know if they're getting it. It's like, uh, something not right about it or what. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is dip it into the solution again. And, of course, I bought these. I can't find them anywhere. So, I bought them on Amazon. And I shipped them to my place in California first, but I brought them out here. And TSA opened them, yeah. TSA opened the bag and everything. It didn't even screw the top on, so some of the liquid is out, you know. So, hey, you just feel so violated when you get your stuff shipped, you know, across the airline. TSA opened everything up. I understand why. But can they at least put the stuff back or possibly not feel something? I have a second battery missing to my camera. Or a third battery and I can't find it. You know. So I have one at home charging. That's why this one is dead. That's why anything that's uh, of importance, they always tell you to keep it, keep it on you. Yeah. Because, not saying that you just worry about things, but sometimes things, I'm not going to say stolen, but misplaced, mishandled. Uh, they, they, a lot of traffic goes through there. But I will say my bike ship intact. I will, you know, I guess possibly make a video or something. You know, I did ship it in the cardboard box. They made me sign something. It's unconditional. It's conditional shippable item, meaning we'll ship it, but anything happened to it, we're not going to pay anything. And I took a risk. Good I will say this much is talking about TSA and everything else. I was coming back from one of my mini vacations, mini trips, and I threw everything in my suitcase. I just threw it in there. And when I got home and opened it up, everything was neatly folded. I, I've never seen it before in my life. I, I, I did not fold it. The people I was staying with did not fold it. It was neatly folded. They must have felt bad for me. They just said that. And they were putting stuff out. They just probably just started putting stuff in. And they probably had to. I mean, probably like, well, this is a mess. So let's kind of go through it, and as they put the stuff back in and folded it back, and, and so I knew somebody went through my bag then. I didn't. I didn't need a note from them saying that we search your bag. I, I knew. <laughs> I will, and don't get me wrong. I understand why they're doing it. It just didn't screw the cap on tight. I'm not saying anything bad. It was just. It, I'm glad I had it all in a Ziploc bag. But the funny thing, they didn't even zip the Ziploc bag up tight again. So it's juice everywhere and stuff. But um. I think they took care of my bike. I know a lot of people say like, oh, you know, watch out for that bike and stuff, shipping it, you know, and I had a couple of stops, you know, and they took care of it. So, the crick it is not working today. I don't know. Maybe I'm not setting the hook right. Maybe the size of the hook is not doing what I ultimately want. Maybe it's the location, like you said, too. I mean, there's so many factors that can factor in. Yeah. We have been using worms the whole time. The worms have been hidden perfectly. I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious though if you did use an artificial worm, would they still hit just as power, powerful? Yeah. Well, at this point, I'm willing to take the cricket off, and we'll try the worm. I mean, they'll hit it. I, I just I'm not find it.
here in this little small place that we are now, and this is nature. Well, I, I'm, I'm not taking away from fishing, but it's, I just got to admire the nature. And this is the whole reason why I come, to admire the nature, to be among the sounds. I mean, you can't, you don't always have this in the city. I know they have trees planted in the city in some spot. They they, they, they try to have something going on, but Honestly, this is... I wish I could find a creek or something like this back there. I mean, there are... There's no one around here, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we came down some dirt roads. There's no one around here. There's no one around here. You know, and... I just... There, look at this snake. Look at him. Come get him, Justin. Come get him. Oh, what uh... Look at him. Now, this is a different one than one we uh, got earlier. Look at him. Look, he's ready to strike. Yep. What is he looking at? Is he looking at us? No. No, I he's. Think so. But he stopped moving. He's focused on something. Yep. So. He changed course. He's coming toward us now. Yeah. Well. I think he want to know what's going on over here. Now, there have been a lot of videos I've seen online where um, people have caught fish and the snake was waiting to bite it and steal it. And I guarantee you, if this snake jump on my line, he can have it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a big snake, people. Yes, yeah, you don't want to mess and, with it. Yeah. And, yeah. Honestly, I think it's time to get ready to go. Yeah, it's time. I'm not going to look at how big this guy Damn. is. Justin, the... Get the video, people. I mean, I just got to get a second video because this snake is huge. It's the second one we've seen out here, but I mean, we, someplace when we go out here, I mean, one day we caught 21 different snakes. You know, all around us, but you know they're not afraid of it. This is their environment, and he's waiting for something around here. And um, you know, we saw a big one earlier, but this one, I don't know. He is pretty big and thick around his yeah. girth. I mean, <laughs> it's time to. That was a usual sign for me to go. Three things that'll get us out of here: when we start seeing a lot of snakes, <laughs> or if James started being attacked by some bugs. Yeah. Prefer, prefer bees mainly because he's allergic to bees. But <laughs> uh, bee, bees and bugs started attacking Jay. It's time okay, to go. I'm going to text somebody this video. But uh, yeah, we've been catching fish though. We've been catching a lot of fish in this little hole. And uh, but all right. Justin, he's just sitting there. Yeah. I think he's telling us last call. Last call for Ashley Hall. I definitely think that he's watching us. And people, um, I don't know if it's on the video, but I'm like, this is why I'm not putting my hand down here at this other location. So we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Yeah, because we don't know where he's going <laughs> and how many more going to come out. We got to walk back and we still got to get back. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Uh, this cricket, I'll throw it in the water. <laughs> Fire the cricket. But I'm going to tell you this. If he does come over here and try to cross us, I mean, sometime you just in a position. I'm going to fight him. You got a cane pole. Yeah. We got rocks in the cane pole. All right. Signing off. Well, I guess I'm going to keep going until we pack things up. And maybe record us walking back to the vehicle. Yeah. about it. My whole back. I'm telling you all, sometimes you just have to have a pretty cool little pad. Throw some stuff in. This is the bag I use my uh, bike. Got my little fishing bag. Look at the pocket fisherman, y'all. Fold it up. Right up in here. There it goes. Now, I did bring more tackle and stuff because I brought other stuff, but I could. We. This is all we fish with today. Everything that was in this bag.
And uh, I could have came with just that. We could have rode our bikes, you know. Next time we might come out here on the bikes and just have a bag. I'm gonna bring all this because I definitely didn't need half of this stuff. I just brought it. Might need to leave it out. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. All right, you got those reels right there? Yeah, I got them. All right, what's this guy? Oh, I took those off. Right. Oh, I need the plastic bag. This goes in your pocket fish one, right? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe it goes in yours. Cause I don't think I didn't take mine out. Okay. Well, here. I don't need the bag. Just make sure you have that when you take it. You have a second hook at least. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the bad thing about it, if I go fishing, it break my line, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta pack it up with more stuff. That's it. I do have a couple of lures that came with it, though. Right. They would work, too. They would work. One of them is a spinner, which I think we've caught fish on those. Yeah, we've caught fish on those. Uh, I never caught a fish on a spoon. Yeah, you did. I did? Yeah. Mm. Or was the little George? That was the little George. I caught bass on the spoons and stuff. So, we're just going to keep our eye out as we walk, because the snakes are out, and um, they will be on the track trying to be one. What is that? A little frog? A little red frog? Look at that guy. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't see stuff. Could have been a little snake. Yep. One day I tried to pick up a night crawler. I was for sure in the night crawler, and my mom was telling me a story years, years, all these years. Look at all this. Guarantee your snake is in that. Yep. Guarantee it. But she told us a story for years that, you know, there was a guy, a little boy trying to get, thought he found a lot of worms and they were baby snakes. And I don't know, at 18, I was 18 years old, and my dumb tail tried to pick up one. It was dark. And it was a snake. So, you know, stuff happens. Be careful. See, it's all the little leaves, and you think, well, it's straight on the ground, man. Any of these pocket size where the stuff build up, a snake will be sitting up under there. Yep. You never know. And the darker it becomes, the more dangerous it becomes because your vision starts to be, you start to, it's hard to be able to see. But, yeah, but it's not like we're running around afraid of snakes. No one wants to get bit by a snake. Those were probably, that's probably a water moccasin. You don't want to deal with nothing poisonous out in the country. No. <laughs> you buy yourself especially. You know, you get bit up and what you going to do? You got to try to get yourself out. Buy yourself. So, bad cell phone reception. Luckily though, both of us are strong enough to carry the other one. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll get out of here. But, um, uh, look at that. What's that? Another frog? Another frog. You know, and they get, these animals get caught on these tracks. You know? And what comes along here to eat them? A snake. A snake can get over and in, you know. Um, but what was I gonna say? But yeah, you're not trying to, you're not walking around afraid. But these are the cautions you have to take a, account for. Yep. You don't, no one, I don't care. You don't want to get bit by a snake. <laughs> now I would say fishing the tire would be <laughs> usually a little bit better. I put on my rubber boots, steel toe rubber boots. Look at this, vibrant. Look at this. I mean, it can be okay at a nice little park or yeah. lake or something, walk in the water. It's not for this. <laughs> no. See, I, usually I'd be in my steel toe rubber boots. The chance of a snake just coming up and just tearing, ripping through those is, they have to be a pretty big one. You know, and, but still, even then, I'm still cautious. Yeah, but sometimes I go fish them out my big work boots, too. Somebody got sick one. <laughs> This remind me of a television show where the people walk on the tracks. Then you hear a song or something in the background. In the, usually at the end of a movie. Or the beginning. Well, that was fishing. We'll use my video when we were walking ahead. <laughs> so I guess uh, it would be a time for us to start signing off. Maybe you all are starting to already hear the cue of music. <laughs> Until next time, folks. Jamie Aston with my brother. Mr. Dog. Banks.
That's that's my handle, is Mr. Banks. Uh, I don't know why I just thought like going being called Mr. Banks is it just stuck. I don't, Mr. I mean it's Mr. Banks. That's who I am, Mr. Banks, Jamie Yaston, brothers. Uh, he look us up, try to get with us. Hey, that's another thing. Um, people on his channel, on Justin's channel, um, and people on my YouTube channel. What I want to do is, and what I say, and I mean it. If you want to go fishing, private message me or so. Let's go fishing, you know. Right now, today, I'm in Arkansas. I'll go to another state, too. Um, but uh, especially in the San Francisco Bay Area, you want to go fishing, freshwater. I'll even, I'm going to start learning more and more fishing in the bay and the salt water and stuff. But um, definitely freshwater, bass fishing, kayak fishing. Let's get together. And I'm going to throw mine out there. If you want to work out, I'm not where I want to be but I'm sure enough better than where I used to be and I'm keep making gains if you like to work out with me I'm not talking about me be a trainer I'm talking about we work out have fun you teach me and maybe I can help you get better let's make it happen Mr. Banks hit me up anytime signing out look at my car on down the road get us home